yet shall return. Today on A Fistful of Dice, we're going to be looking at Pathfinder Pawns, Skulls and Shekels. Hey everybody. So, as I said, we're going to be looking at the brand new Pathfinder Pawns, Skulls and Shekels Pawn Collection. Um, they've got new packaging for the Pathfinder Pawn set, which I really like. They've got a brand new uh, Pathfinder Pawns logo, um, as well as uh, a bunch of different scenes from the Adventure Path uh, that really uh, get me excited about opening this thing up. Um, this retails for fifteen ninety nine. Uh, it, it like the other Adventure Path uh, set, it does not come with stands. So um, they are selling uh, blister packs of the stands now on the Paizo official website. So uh, if you are in need of stands for these things, you can get them relatively cheap at Paizo.com. Um, but otherwise, it comes with, let's see here, do, 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 103, well, more than 103, about 150 uh, different uh, pawns for use with the Pathfinder system, or any system really, and they're all pirate-themed because they come from the Skull and Shackles Adventure Path. So I'm going to open this up and we're going to take a look. Okay, so I've been gone for a while. Uh, I hope everyone had a good holiday. But what better way to kick off a new bout of Fistful of Dice videos than with a pawn review? So let's get into this. All right. So on the first page, we've got a bunch of different uh, NPCs. Now, uh, they've actually changed the way that the pawns are laid out a little bit. I don't know if you can see this on the webcam, but on all of the pawns, there is now a expansion marker. So on these ones, they have both their number in the set and also the skulls and shackles uh, uh, symbol here. So you can tell what set you got them from. Sorry, my cat's meowing in the background as usual. So we've got a bunch of different cool-looking piratey NPCs, including uh, what looks like a were creature of some sort, which is really neat. Uh, I'm definitely going to get some use out of these guys. I love cool-looking NPCs and creatures, so these Adventure Path sets are, are really neat for me. Um, we've got a few duplicates here. Uh, the uh, the Aranyas are uh, available in the Bestiary box, so I've already got a couple of those. But other than that, no duplicates on this page. There is a Cannon Golem, which might be the coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Page two, we've got some dupes. Uh, I think I've got about 15 of these ghouls now. But we've also got some very cool looking NPC characters. Uh, a very cool invisible stalker. Uh, some unique monsters. Uh, another duplicate here with the Cyclops. A uh, cool looking dwarven character with a musket. That's pretty neat. It looks like this guy has a whip, whip for hands. That's pretty neat. On page three, we've got a bunch of just uh, right, uh, pirate minis, which are very neat. Uh, some more duplicates from the bestiary box and another Cyclops. This is a very cool looking NPC here. More Cyclops! Apparently you fight a lot of Cyclops in Skulls and Shackles. There's also a cool monster here called a Drowning Devil. And what's this? An anthropomorphic shark? I think so. That is really awesome. Very cool. Um, here we've got some, a unique Cyclops, a female Cyclops it looks like, which is always good to have. A unique satyr creature. A different art for the phase spider, which is cool. And another anthropomorphic creature. Here we've got some more duplicates from the bestiary box, some more anthropomorphic sharks, and a giant octopus, and also a lightning elemental, which is really, really cool looking. And there is nothing wrong with some giant crabs, otherwise known as a shark-eating crab, and a giant hammerhead shark. And We've got dinosaurs. A couple of triceratops. Very, very cool. 
You know, that's something that the uh, the bestiary box does not have, is uh, dinosaurs. And uh, it looks like some more NPCs, and do my eyes deceive me? Do we have our first halfling slash gnome NPC Pathfinder Pawns? I think we do. Ladies and gentlemen, the first gnome and halfling Pathfinder Pawns. Such a momentous occasion. We've also got some ghostly looking pirate and another... Uh... I don't know what that is. This guy is really cool. He looks like a pirate lich. So, The Skull and Shackles set, while specific, it's all very piratey, nautical themed, uh, has a lot uh, less duplicates than the Rise of the Rune Lords pawn set. So if you're looking for uh, unique NPCs and monsters to use, uh, definitely check out the Skull and Shackles set. And uh, if you're hankering for a halfling or a gnome, this is the only set that has them so far until the NPC Codex comes out. So uh, a really great release by Paizo, and I can't wait for more, can't wait for more Pathfinder Pawns. As usual, uh, I will be reviewing all of them as I will be getting all of them. So uh, take care, guys, and happy gaming, all.